This is the Commodities and Recycling Report, brought to you by Ben Lee, Roloff and Open Top Trailers, and Riley and Goldsman Metal Recycling, January 4th, 2016. In this report, many commodity prices ended the year with a slight upward momentum, U.S. steel production hit new multi-year lows, annual auto sales in the U.S. hit an all-time high, and markets around the world are declining this morning due to weak China manufacturing data. In the last reporting week, steel production in the U.S. dropped to a low for the year and was a full 30% below 11 months ago. Continued U.S. manufacturing weakening is a key reason for this. Steel mill utilization rates were low for the year at just under 61%, so steel mills finished the year with very low profitability. Imports of finished goods steel dropped in November. High imports had been a reason for declining U.S. steel production, so this is some good news looking forward for U.S. steel production. Note, due to the holidays, there was no new oil rig count data, so we have no chart on that. Scrap steel pricing finished the year near a three-year lows, with low steel production being one of the reasons. This has continued to put enormous pressure on metal recyclers. Very low scrap prices have meant very low scrap metal flows in recent months, and less DRI is available, so despite low steel production, most believe steel prices could actually increase a bit this week and this month. On the positive side, hot rolled coiled finished steel ended the year near three year lows, which is truly great for keeping manufacturing costs down in the United States. Related stainless steel production scrap prices also finished near multi-year lows. Copper fell significantly this morning and was down slightly last week. Overall until this morning, there had been a slight upward trend in copper pricing in the past six weeks. Copper's major drop this morning was due to hours ago China released data about very weak manufacturing in that country. Overall though, the copper five-year chart shows copper remains near six plus year lows that it hit in recent weeks. Aluminum, while down a bit last week, was also frankly trending up like copper. Yet it has followed copper and remains near six plus year lows. A troubling statement last week was made by Christine Lagarde, the head of the International Monetary Fund based out of Europe. She said that 2016 could be a disappointing growth year for the global economy. She based this on U.S. rising interest rates, lower commodity prices hurting many countries, and China's continued weakness. Again, we saw that even this morning. On the very positive side, later today, when final 2015 automotive sales data is released, it will be at an all-time high. Reduced gasoline prices, low heating bills have boosted consumer spending on vehicles throughout the United States. This could mean a good January for auto recyclers as people dispose of older cars based on December's strong new vehicle sales. A bad part of this story is that the, in the U.S., good middle-class manufacturing jobs making vehicles, trailers, and car parts dropped from about 1.3 million people in the year 2000 to about 920,000 in 2015. Michigan and Ohio have lost massive amounts of employment, while Alabama and Texas have had some gains. Another positive is that consumer confidence and the view of future jobs remained high in November and is near multi-year highs, but the survey on business condition has been trending down for months. Lastly, congratulations to our Bentley team that just before the end of the year made a strategic acquisition of Huge Hall the leading manufacturing of lugger trucks in North America. More to come later in the week on Ben Lee now building lugger trucks for the market. With that, we hope all have a safe and profitable week. My name is Greg Brown.